morning I woke up late my alarm clock never went off so I woke up a little bit later than normal so of course I choose the perfect day to do a day in a life we have to drop Brian off at school and then we have to bring this little one to therapy right she is in a festive mood right Halloween she has her Halloween shirt on she has her little Halloween skirt on Say, I'm ready for my day she's so sick she's so congested you guys Anytime I go to the gym and bring her to the gym playground, she always gets sick. So I did go to the gym the other day and of course she got sick. Ryan's finishing up his breakfast right now. All right, we had a quick breakfast. Ooh, can I see your shirt? Everyone wants to see your cool shirt. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So I am going to finish up cleaning up I need to clean up a few more dishes and then get the kids in the car drop Brian off at school and then head off to therapy so see you guys now we are in a carpool waiting to drop Brian off at school <laughs> Ryan say hi to everyone hello are you excited for school yeah. <laughs> you're silly let's see sissy let's see sissy move no. Madison's so cranky since she is sick and I feel like I'm starting to get sick now which sucks because it should be illegal for moms to get sick, right? right? You gotta put your sweater on. It's pretty cold this morning here in Georgia. Right now it's saying it's 59 outside. So Brian needs to put his sweater on. I need to put Madison's little jean jacket on because she has a short sleeve on right now, right? She's so miserable but we gotta go to therapy. You're silly. Yeah, that's a finger head. Uh, yeah, finger. Hmm. <laughs> Have a good day at school. Good morning. Good How morning. Are you I'm melting. You're melting. Oh, no, not bad. Say bye. Are you ready for school, buddy? Okay. You can leave that in the car. You have one in your bag. Good morning. Welcome to North and North Starbucks history. So what can I get started for you? Um, Can I have a grande... Vanilla latte. Friday hot vanilla latte. Anything else? That'll be it. Four forty. Thank you. Hey, can I get?
get you something else? Person in front of you paid for yours today, okay? Okay, Um, how much is the person behind me? Right, teacher, let me check on that for you. What's your drink today? It's 625. Okay, I'll pay for the person behind me then. You wanna pay for it? Yeah. Okay, one second to check on your spicy chorizo. Was there anything else for you? Okay, one second, okay? Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry, yeah. Oh, you can remove your car. You want a receipt? Um, no, that's fine. Okay, I gave you your drink, right? Yes. Have a great day. It was right. another latte, right? Yes. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Hey guys, so we are currently in the car. We're at Madison's therapy appointment, but we're like 10 minutes early. So I'm just going to wait for a little in the car instead of going in. And I just left Starbucks and the guy that was in front of me was sweet and nice and he bought my coffee. So when I went up to the window, the lady said, the guy in front of you bought you your coffee. So I thought that I would pass along the good deed for the day and I paid for the guy's coffee that was behind me. And although his was a little more expensive than my coffee, I didn't mind buying the person behind me their coffee because I think every once in a while you should always do something for someone else, whether it's buying them a coffee or just giving them a compliment or anything. I know it made my day for someone else to buy me my coffee. So hopefully I made the person's day behind me that I bought for them. And this couldn't have come in at a better time just because this morning I was feeling a little down and kind of emotional just because I was watching the news about the Vegas shooting that happened, that mass shooting. My heart goes out to anyone who was affected or who have family that was affected, friends. My heart and prayers go out to you guys. I just think it is so sad, the world that we live in. You have to be so cautious nowadays. People can be so cruel yeah. and disgusting. Like I don't understand what would make someone want to go to a concert where everyone's enjoying themselves and having fun. And just start shooting like it's so sad that I have to raise my kids in this kind of world and I'm not gonna lie scares me and gives me anxiety just to want to leave my house and yeah so I was just this morning I was kind of you know down about that just because it makes me sad and then just by this little thing of someone buying me coffee definitely brightened up my morning and made me in a better mood. That goes to show you that not everyone in this world is cruel and evil. There are some good people in this world and there was a good guy in front of me who bought me my coffee and made my day. So yeah, enough of my rants because I can probably go on and on about how I feel about the world these days. Anyways, I am going to wait a few more minutes before I head in to medicine's therapy. All right, guys, I will see you guys in a few. Silly girl. You're just going to make a mess? Madison. <laughs> Okay, we need to clean all that up. Okay guys, so yeah, I'm still in the car. It is now 1244 and I just pulled up to Ryan's school. I am in a carpool ready to pick him up. Mondays are usually pretty busy, hectic day because I have to drop Ryan off at school and then straight from school I have to drive and rush over to the opposite side of town for Madison's therapy. She gets therapy twice a week. She gets on Mondays and Fridays and on Mondays it's an hour and a half. So I have to drive like 40 minutes for her therapy appointment. Then I'm there for an hour and a half. And then by the time I get out of that therapy and drive 40 minutes back to my side of town, it is already time to pick up Ryan. So he gets out of school at one, it's currently 12.45. And you would think that 15 minutes early, I would be the first one in line. No, I'm like the 10th car in line right now. So I'm just waiting for him to get out and then we're gonna go home and eat some lunch. Madison usually still will take her nap around one. Ryan, depending on how tired he is, sometimes he'll take a nap, sometimes he won't, but I still make him have just like some quiet time in his room for at least an hour. 
So I'll eat some lunch and then, well not lunch, he already ate lunch at school. Madison and I will eat lunch. He'll probably just have a snack and then have some quiet time. And that'll be the time that I will clean up a little around the house and I think I'm gonna try to film a video. I have a haul to film, so. But that haul will probably be up before this this video. Madison, what are you doing? Are you eating some yogurt? Is that yummy? See, is that delicious? And Madison did really good in therapy today. They said that she worked really well and she paid attention. Some days are better than others. Today was a better day, which I'm super surprised since she is really congested and sick with a cough. So she did good. But yeah, I'm just going to play on my phone until Ryan gets out. So you will see guys. And we are finally home. It's 1.20 now. Madison's pretty cranky. I'm about to, she just finished eating. I fed her really fast. And now I'm about to put her down for a nap. Ryan, do you want to tell everyone how your day was at school? Go ahead, tell them. Get back up a little. How was school today? I too far away. Okay, not too close. That's the they want to know, how was school today? Okay. Can I have the phone? Because I want to record for a little bit. No, Mommy's going to hold it because we have to go take a little nap. So, okay. how was school? That's weird. Uh, my day at school was well, and I tell the teacher... He pushed me over on the car oh, no. tell the teacher. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess a little kid um pushed him while they were on the playground while he was he said he was like in a little car and I guess a little boy pushed him out of the car, which I'm not too happy about. Teacher didn't tell me anything, so I'll probably bring it up tomorrow. But I always tell him if anyone's being mean to him, bullying him, hit him or anything, that he needs to one, let the little kid know not to touch him and not to hit him. But then he also needs to immediately go tell his teacher. And also tell mommy and daddy when it happens. So he did tell me and he told the teacher, which I am happy about. Because he said the teacher told him not to push him and stuff. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to put Madison down for a nap now. Get Ryan a snack and then make some lunch for it myself. So, Madison, are you ready to take a nap? Yeah. Hey guys, so now it's much, much later. It's like 4.40, 4.45. I told Ryan that I would let him come outside and play because it's really nice to stay outside. It's a beautiful fall day. It's not too hot, it's not cold. It's just perfect temperature. So we're gonna play outside for a little bit out in the front and then we will go back in and make some dinner and take a bubble bath. Also, depending on how long we stay outside, I think I might let them do some crafts. A while ago, I bought some Halloween crafts from the Dollar Tree, and I just found them yesterday, so I might let them do one of them. I think I bought like two or three different crafts, so they might do that. But yeah, that is going to be the rest of our day. Just play outside, some Halloween crafts, and then dinner, bath, and bed because I'm ready for bed. I feel like I'm getting sick, like I said earlier. The kids are getting me sick, so I'm ready to call it a night early tonight. I'll probably go to bed after I put the kids to bed, although I still need to edit a video. Yeah, I need to edit my video I filmed. That's why I have this dark lipstick on, guys, because I just finished filming another video. Yeah? <laughs>
we're back in the house now. It's a little after five and I'm letting the kids paint. Well, actually just Ryan's painting. Madison lasted maybe 30, 40 seconds. She painted like one little corner and that's it. But it's okay. She painted a, a tiny bit. Now Ryan's finishing up his painting and I'm going to get dinner done. I'm so tired, guys. It's been a long day. I don't know how people do it, like, daily vlogging. I don't know how they do it. I give them so much props. I don't know if I can ever be a daily vlogger. That would be hard because I'm just doing a day in the life, and I feel like that's hard. All right, guys, so I'm just going to get dinner cooked and done. Probably won't vlog dinner just because usually dinner time, I'm having to force the kids to eat their food and stuff. So I'm not going to vlog dinner but I'll vlog right before I put the kids to bed. So I'll see you once it's time for bedtime. Hey, Is it okay if Caillou shares my turn being safety over? Well, that's nice of you, Leo. Caillou. What are you doing? So now it is finally bedtime. Both the kids are in bed and sleeping. Thank you, Jesus, because I am so tired. I'm getting sicker and sicker as the day goes by, and I just want to go to bed. So I didn't get to record when I put Madison to sleep because she fell asleep, I would say, half an hour before her bedtime. She just fell asleep in the living room on the rug. So I just ended up laying her down in her bed and putting her to bed 30 minutes early so that I didn't get to record so you guys won't see me putting Madison to bed but you did see me put Ryan to bed and he's already sleeping and now I'm about to go jump in the shower take a shower and have a cup of tea and go to bed hopefully by tomorrow I will be feeling a little better because tomorrow morning after I drop Ryan off at school his school has a PTA meeting that I wanted to go to and then after the PTA meeting I wanted to try to stop at Target because they are having a sale for their Halloween costumes their buy one get one half so I figured I could buy the kids their costumes so I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow okay guys so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's day in the life this is the first day in life I've ever done so let me know down in the comments if this is something that you guys enjoy watching and maybe I can start doing it I don't know maybe once a month or something but if you guys enjoy it, I will definitely start doing them for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not already, I would really love if you would subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.